Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite campers. Even before I was doing YouTube videos, this is the first video that I ever, first camper I ever videoed that truly went viral on TikTok. It got 10 million views and it really got me started in doing these YouTube tours. This is the 2023 Salem Hemisphere 378 FL. It's a front living with a loft, pretty incredible floor plan. But if you guys are looking for the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that will be down in the description of this video, along with my contact information if you are in the market for an RV. And as always, I'm trying to hit 30,000 subscribers, so help me hit my goal here in 2023. Hit that like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Again, 2023 Salem Hemisphere 378 FL, and if you're looking for a family camper that isn't kind of wasted space with the bunk room. This is definitely it. Since it is the front living, I figured I'll start up here in front. Dual opposing slides, two sleeper sofas that make a nice bed. And with the opposing slides, you get that classic front living setup with absolutely massive room for your rainy day. Directly across from the TV, you got your uh, kind of your love seat right there, your recliner. So pretty darn nice. It also has a feature. Not gonna be able to show off today because I'm just on the jump box, but all you do is double tap. It glows for you. Just a nice little ambient glow there for your drink. Both of these slides over here and over here are gonna be identical. So both are gonna feature your tinted windows. The windows will open up for a nice breeze and this back one here is gonna be an emergency exit. So pull, push and pop and you can get out in a hurry if you need. New uplift for 2023 as far as decor between cabinets. Uh, you got the valances here looking a little different, looking a little sharper for sure. And then you got your Dracula shades to block out all the sun, keep your skin from frying. So you got the roller nightshades. This sofa here does meet up in the middle with this other slide, pulls out. So you have incredible sleeping space, if not just for the loft, but you also have this as well. Up in the front, you have plenty of storage all up and around your entertainment center. You got the mirrored reflective finish there for the fireplace. So that's gonna be new for 2023, but it's got that mirrored finish, looking pretty darn sharp. Four different color modes. You have your white, blue, red, and orange. You also have storage, you know, all up and down here. You also got the Furion sound bar with the HDMI, HDMI port, USB, and then the aux zone one and two. So that's gonna be music both inside and outside, so you can play at both sides, get the party really bumping. Similar storage on both left and right, and the same is gonna go for right up here. You also have the TV with the accent lighting there behind it and a big old open window for a nice view. So it's gonna be on the Televator setup. So you just hold this button right there, comes on down for you and you are good to go when you're in kind of daytime mode, when you're not watching a movie. So that way, hopefully you can catch a little bit better view here than the RV lot at RV Nation. You also still get a little shade right there, you know, to help uh, regulate kind of what's what's coming in. Prepped for the Wi-Fi extender and LTE booster, so you can call up AT&T or Verizon and you're good to go. Outlets on both sides and over here on this side, you're going to see two USB ports as well. All right. So two opposing slides. Got the recliner directly across from the TV. You're also gonna see you have a nice bowed ceiling, which gives you really nice ceiling height. I am six feet tall for reference, and you can see I'm not at any threat of bonking my head. Probably suitable for someone that's 6'4", 6'5". You're gonna have a couple ACs on this RV. This is gonna be one of them, and each side has the dump valve. So if you're up here hanging out, watching a movie, you just simply open that up, and it'll disproportionately pump that AC right up into here, allowing this room to get a lot cooler, a lot quicker. Or you can close it up and it'll evenly distribute that AC moving down the RV. Got a fancy looking little beam here for this year. LED lights on top of all the slides that you can see. You're also gonna get a ceiling fan. Got the island kitchen set up with the accent lighting below as well. Got another outlet right over here. And even in the kitchen, you're gonna have opposing slides. So over here, you got your refrigerator, oven, storage. And then on this side, you're gonna have your classic dinette table with tons of windows. Now, again, I am six feet tall. You got some pretty good head height here for this slide, probably somewhere around 6'2", 6'3"-ish. 
But again, tinted windows, emergency exit, all open up for a nice breeze. You also got a little clicker light there. But yeah, sit down, play some cards, you know, play some euchre, have some dinner. Little storage cubby right over here. And then we're back to the island. You get decent countertop space, not as large as I've seen in some, uh, but still better than most. You're also going to get plenty of storage here underneath the RV. And you get some access to your plumbing. Stainless steel undermounted bowl with the high-rise faucet that's got the little snake doodad. Hitting those dishes from all angles. Move it back to the cooking slide. You're going to see you have a ton of pull-out drawers. Three of them are going to be this size, and then one is going to be that size. So pretty incredible as far as that is concerned. A little bit of storage to the left of the microwave, which is going to be Furion, which is going to match the hood and the oven, which is a three stove top burner. Enough room to cook up, you know, a DiGiorno, get some pizza, some cookies rolling, you know, make, uh, make some good little snack roonies for the kids. Countertop space, an outlet. And then right here, this is going to be your Furion. This is going to be one of those smart TVs. So if it was hooked up uh, to, actually, I probably could turn it on, but I'm not trying to drill my, well, there you go. It's run right there. So basically smart controls there on the outside, but you got freezer on the left, refrigerator on the right. As you can see, plenty of room for a week's worth of groceries, no problem. It's also the 12 volt refrigerator. So it'll run off the battery, the solar, all that good stuff. Even my jump box. So when you're driving down the road, you can still you know, cool your food, and it is much safer and more efficient than the gas and electric refrigerator. Above the island, got some fancy looking little bubble lights, and then whatever that thing is, that just looks good in general. Another AC right up here, again with the dump valves on both sides. Here are going to be the controls uh, for your heat and your AC, as well as an outlet and the control for your fan. More countertop space, a little bit more storage. And then here underneath, uh, you get your fuse box. So if for some reason something isn't working, make sure to check that. It'll start screaming at you, glowing nice and red, and let you know, you know what's not working and you know what you got to do to get it fixed up. I think that about buzz it here for this. We'll head up into the bathroom and then the loft. Right here next to, there's two entrances. So you got one right here and then one, if I keep backing up, right here. So in between the two, this is going to be your control panel. So you got your, um, you know, where you can check all your tank fills, black one, black two, gray one, gray two, auxiliary tanks, water pump, water heater, tank heaters, your lighting controls for the ones that aren't clickers, and then one for all five slide outs. So this thing is an absolutely behemoth of a fifth wheel with five slide outs. Bathroom. Small enough to not take off room, but big enough where you can actually sit down and kind of do your thing. See, so I turn it this way. Yeah, you can see I got move. I got room to kind of move around, dance around. Got the old bowling gun right there. Got bowling tomorrow. Then I'm subbing in for a Wednesday tournament. The old team is on a heater. We crushed it last week. Can't wait to bring that momentum in tomorrow. Bow regards are going down. Max air fan control right up there so that way you can suck out the steam or the stink. A couple outlets below that. And then you got a pretty good sized shower and you got the Tri-Glide glass series. So this is three panes of glass, gives you a good view of what it looks like when it's closed. And then you can close that up and you can see you get plenty of room to go inside of the shower. A little place to sit down, put your soaps and shampoos. See, as you can see, I got plenty of room. And then the height on this, I mean, I can't even reach the ceiling, so that's pretty incredible. You also have a couple little baskets to put your TPs and your hand towels. And then the toilet here, the old porcelain throne. And babe, if you're watching, I love you. A little peek at the bedroom here. But first, let's head up to the loft. So you got the carpeted steps heading up here. And this is where that bowed roof will come into play. It gives you just a little bit more head height. On both sides, you have some windows for a good breeze uh, or emergency exits. Plenty of room to kind of sit around, sleep around. Nice little tree fort action. Got some storage. And then over there, I'm not going to crawl up in here, but you got a TV backer where you can put a TV along with the plugins that you need. And each side is going to have outlets and USB ports. The bedroom in this thing is absolutely massive. Everything that you need. You get your queen bed, 
slide out room control right here along with the light controls. You also have USB and outlet. Then you got your little Harry Potter closet door. It's also prepped up for the washer and dryer. Has a little clothes rack too if you're not putting a washer and dryer in there. Forgot to turn on the little lights here, but give you a good view. There's one clicker light on, one off. But windows on both sides. Catch yourself a good breeze. King size bed. It's looking like at least. Plenty of storage there underneath. Really massive window here out the back, you know, for a good view. Also opens up, doubles up as an emergency exit. More outlets and USBs. And then little hanging closet, another one there below it. And then you also get your dresser with six pull-out drawers. And if you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it. TV backer, so you can hang up a TV right here. Probably about a 50, 60 inch, judging by the size, just kind of a guess. Then you also have your appropriate plug-ins, you know, the outlets and the cable hookup. Give you one more little view here. So you got the loft up there to the front. You got the bathroom. Darn good looking kitchen. Big dinette. And then your front living there with the old televator. But now we'll head on in uh, around the outside. Again, it's the 2023 Hemisphere 378 FL. All the specifications, things like awning size, tank sizes, all that will be down in the description of this video. You got your two marine grade outside speakers, as well as a little leash latch here for your furry friends. Heated and enclosed accessibility and removable under panels. So that would be for, you know, this down here, you see how it's got kind of a ribbed finish there. So it's not um, not like your normal one that's gonna be one piece. This is actually cut off in six foot sections which makes maintenance you know, a breeze if you do need it. You see under here you got the aluminum construction and you also see it's got wrapped with the alumafoil so no exposed wood. Battery disconnect, light. This is gonna be the LEDs there for the front but pretty good pass through storage. You're also gonna see you got the metal latches right here which is a nice little touch. Real big awning that goes over this slide. You also have a place where you can hang up a TV along with the cable and the um, outlets that you need. Second entrance, both entrances have the solid step aboves. Again, the tinted windows. And then coming around the back, you have a bumper so you can mount like a spare tire if you'd like, if you don't like the placement that it's at now, or uh, you know, storage racks or anything like that. But you do have a ladder to get on top of the RV. It's a fully walkable roof. Check your seals, check your slides, make sure there's no debris up there and all your ceilings or all your sealants look good. You're also prepped up for the rear observation camera. So 550 bucks, suction cup that right onto your windshield so you can see what's going on behind you while you are driving. On the slides, you can put a slide topper on, which is essentially a piece of awning that goes from here to here and protects debris from falling on it, whether it's tree branches, rain, you know, anything like that, even sun to help regulate the temperature. All right. You got the electric auto level. This is where you're going to plug in your 50 amp service. Dual axles. That's going to be where your dump valves there for your sewer connection. Back end of the hot water heater. And then you have the other side here of the pass through storage. And then you also got a black tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. You're also gonna see you have hot and cold water access in the form of an outdoor shower. Your different, your hot water bypass valve, city water connection, fresh water connection, and then a couple cable hookups. And then this right here actually runs through the camper underneath. So if you ever wanna pull, you know, a cord out, uh, and not just leaving your door open, you know, you're good to go. And then here's your control for your electric auto leveling as well. Slam latch, propane here behind this door. And then you got your spare tire, you got two battery boxes, one right here, one right there. But yeah, guys, I think that about wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, my name is Hunter, and this was the 2023 Salem Hemisphere 378 FL, the front living with a loft. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like and subscribe button. See ya.